I, uh, bunions are hereditary in my family, so I've had a bunion, a bunions on both feet. Mm -hmm. My right foot was more severe, and I'd seen other well-known doctors in the city and really was advised to put off the surgery as long as possible until it started hurting. Uh, mine started hurting and bothering me. I go to a Second Baptist Church in Houston, I'm in a Sunday school class, and two of the females in my class had bunion surgery and from Dr. Nagler and could not say enough things about him. They took their shoes off for me. I looked at their feet, they looked fantastic. So I decided to make an appointment. When I went online to look up his number, I was kind of astounded that I didn't know doctors got rated. And I don't know the number, but it appeared that Dr. Nagler had 99 five-star ratings and one one-star rating. Somebody out there doesn't like him, but 99 people did. So I, I was uh, impressed. I scheduled an appointment, came in, I found him to be extremely personable, um, treated me like I was the only patient there that day, uh, and just hit it off personally. We're both golfers and we had that in common. So I had a lot of confidence going into the surgery. I had a uh, pretty severe bunion on my right foot, so they had to uh, go in and remove part of the bone, break some bones, and my, uh, put them back together with screw staples and uh, stitches, and then I had a hammer toe, which he put a pin in. Uh, quite frankly, when they took the bandages off, I was shocked at how big the um, cut was. However, it healed perfectly. I can't even see the scar, and um, the procedure worked great. Well, my first impression was that he was just a, a very kind person. Uh, and again, I made the comment earlier that he treated me like I was the only patient here that day. In today's world of managed health care and um, rising expenses and probably lower payouts to doctors, a lot of doctors I go to, I feel a little bit rushed as I go through the office and uh, they don't have so much time to see me. With Dr. Nagler, that's never happened. I've probably been here four or five times. Um, it just seemed like he took whatever time we needed and probably did some. So it's a, and his staff has all been very kind to me as well. I, I, not only would I highly recommend him, I've highly recommended him to four or five people already that I want him to be my sister that's come in to see him. So um, if you have a bunion problem, you need to go see Dr. Nagler. If you don't get an opinion from him, you made a mistake.